Neanderthals lived 100,000 to 28,000 years ago in Central Europe and Asia. About 30,000 years ago, Neanderthals may have encountered many modern humans and coexisted with them for 3 to 5,000 years. Having lived during the last ice age, Neanderthals were adapted to cold climates. Their body proportions were similar to those of cold adapted modern humans, short and stocky with solid limbs. Having lived during the last ice age, Neanderthals were adapted to cold climates. Their body proportions were similar to those of cold adapted modern humans, short, stocky, and with solid limbs. Neanderthals had a protruding jaw, weak chin, and a receding forehead. The nose and brow also protruded. The brain size of a Neanderthal was larger than that of Homo sapiens today. The classical Neanderthal cranium is larger, longer, and lower than that of modern humans. It also bulges at the sides. Neanderthals possess relatively large sinus cavities. Both the facial anatomy and the robust postcranial structure of Neanderthals have been interpreted by Eric Trunkaz of Washington University as adaptations to living in a cold climate. Neanderthals were skilled hunters of large game, such as bison and deer. Animal remains recovered from their sites suggest that they had a diet rich in cooked and raw meat. Their diets also included berries, roots, honey, and insects. Unlike otherwise believed, Neanderthals are very intelligent and advanced. They buried their dead and cared for the old and ill. Neanderthals also learned to craft their own tools and process plant foods. Due to their cold climate, Neanderthals wore clothing made out of the animals that they hunted. They also wore ornamentations. Neanderthals lived in shelters. They also learned to use fire and use it to cook their food. Marceline Boulet was a well-known French paleontologist and physical anthropologist who reconstructed the first complete Neanderthal skeleton discovered in 1908 in southwestern France. Boulet depicted Neanderthals as being brutish, bent kneed not fully erected, ape-like creatures. Because of Boulet's exaggerated interpretation, scholars and the general public concluded that all Neanderthals were highly primitive creatures. Some researchers argue that Neanderthals were incapable of human speech, and others believe they were capable of articulate speech and possibly capable of producing the same range of sounds as modern humans. Many anthropologists classify Neanderthals within Homo sapiens, but as a distinct subspecies named Homo sapien neanderthalensis. However, not all experts agree. Some believe they should be placed into a separate species named Homo neanderthalensis. Because encounters with modern man and Neanderthals were very likely to occur, many experts believe Neanderthals may have mated with modern Homo sapiens and produced hybrid children with the genes of both. Though they have long believed to be extinct, Neanderthals may continue to live on through modern man.